Dating code is a generally accepted system of behaviors that guides men and women in their romantic relationships with one another. Welcome to Dating Code. On the first episode of Dating Code, our guests will answer random questions around the world of, you guessed it, dating. Watch our guests spill their unfiltered opinions on dating in the workplace and several other issues. Is office romance a bad idea? What say you? Don't date somebody in your office, because they will cry. Probably two years tears. Most company policy actually state that no internal relationship. If you're even having any relationship, basically, uh, when I got one low key, you get. Thinking about it personally, would be a good idea because you know, get free dance, a bad guy. Can lead to a disastrous, you know, especially when the breakfast now comes, you can't concentrate. You now see the babe that is coming to look for your boo, your ex boo rather. Mm. Uh, office relationships are a no for me. But it's a good thing because now, nah, where you did work, you go see the chalk now. Okay, you know what? Do it. Date somebody at the office but resign right after. You say, yes, I would date you. One of you has to resign. Professionally, don't try it. For your personal gain, you can try it. Hey, wait, why? Why would I consider dating my boss? Ha, ah, man. Consider that one is tough, though, boy. I want to say no. Of course, if it comes to me, why not? Like, if she, if she's... If she likes it, like if she's available for it, why not to run it now? It's, it's still good for business, you know. There's nothing, I don't think there's something bad in that, especially the class of boss. You know, if you know they can't work, if you will resign yourself, your boss can see they take care of you. Don't do it. Don't date your boss. I've had friends that have done it before, you know, and um, some actually got good things out of it, but some people did not get good things out of it. You date your boss exactly. You just say something in a meeting. By you, are you serious? Are you joking with me, bio? And then everybody's like, and even you'll be like, oh shoot, sorry, sir, bio, sir. Infidelity tests are a big indication of trust issues. Trust me, ain't nobody got time for testing over here. There are limits to testing. You get some tests when you go carry out, you go spoil your relationship. The exam I did this quiz not enough. You want to be testing me. Why are you testing me in a relationship? I don't understand. If you're, I mean, for you to test someone, it means you already doubt what that person can do. If I'm to do an infidelity test on my partner, she fails. I feel like it's, it's my fault because I initiated it. His friend had done that kind of test, you know, for his girlfriend before. So it was now his own turn for them to do it to his own girlfriend, which was me, you know? I think. Going to lie about it. I failed. Sometimes I wonder what people do in relationships. Like, how did you get here? To the point of testing. So, how did you get here? This is the way five boys say all of us are shallow. All of us, now all of us, they cheat. Popular saying on the streets is that men are, you get it? Whoa, whoa. Men cheat a lot, but I feel like ladies are coming up and beating them in their own game. Gen Z girls cheat a lot. But me, deep down, I'm like, yes, beat the men at their own game. It's really when they, it's good, you know. It's so heartbreaking, but I feel like women cheat more than men. Sometimes self, some of us don't know the password to our woman phone. But for the women, it's a must, they know it. So you see, huh? for us, now your woman feel they cheat two years, three years, because you know they, Focus on bothering yourself a baton. You know, go we'll catch her. But for the women, ah, men has come. So they are paying attention to you. Every step you take. Think that why the, the society or the world always feels that men they cheat pass. You get. But you see, they are body shower eh? just to make the women feel happy. <laughs> no, Abba, Otilo now. Anything I give you, Otilo. Anything you give me, Otilo. If you today vest me, I feel it on your car. No, be, you will use e car by the end of the day. But house, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling, that one is landed property. <laughs> I'm not going to return it to you. I said, guys, she will not let me collect. Except that me just want to go collect, and that's me being petty. As a gentleman, I don't think I might want to collect the gift, but if I raise in the money, I feel beg and say, me will say this to me, we'll share the money 50 50. Ah, if he wants to return it by force, by force, he wants to erase me from his, ah, bring it. But don't expect me to return the favor. I am not. You chose to give me, I choose not to give you because what is mine is mine. Catch us next week for more tips and tricks on how to navigate the complex jungle of dating.